He's one of the greatest athletes in history. And she's something of a mystery, actually. Here's what we know about the life story of Michael Jordan's wife. Before Yvette Prieto dabbled in the world of basketball, she had a taste for the music scene. At least her dating track record landed her there when she was linked to a famous Latin singer. While fans may know Enrique Iglesias for his famous hits like Hero and Bailamos, they may not realize he has a famous brother as well, Julio Iglesias Jr. While Julio might not have garnered as much fame as Enrique, the Iglesias family name is known far and wide across Latin America. Prieto and Julio were reported to have dated in the early 2000s, but little is known about their former relationship or why the two called it quits. The duo was featured on the cover of Hola! magazine during their relationship, in which they posed together beachside and seemed happier than ever. At the time, the singer gushed over his then-girlfriend and signs even seemed to point to a potential marriage. Julio told the outlet, She's a fantastic girl and I like her. Aside from her beauty, which is obvious, she is loving, simple, and very good person. It's unclear exactly why and when the two split, but their relationship ran its course before Prieto stumbled into Jordan in 2007. At that time, Jordan had recently split from his first wife, Juanita Vinoy, to whom he was married from 1989 to 2006. After graduating from college at the University of Florida, Yvette Prieto tried her hand in the business world. The Cuban native reportedly worked for her parents' company, a hospital, as well as in the real estate market. Prieto also helped her entrepreneurial father in his cigar manufacturing business before she changed career paths. Eventually, the fashion world came knocking and Prieto began to build an impressive career as a model. Despite her 5-foot, 6-inch height, the mother of two has appeared in several fashion magazines and even posed for the likes of Alexander Wang. Nowadays, Prieto has left her modeling days behind her, although she makes the occasional appearance at public events in the fashion world. Yvette Prieto may have more money than many people know what to do with, but that wasn't always the case. In fact, she ran into serious financial problems in 2002 when she was 23 years old. At the time, she filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. This is the most common form of bankruptcy and applies to those who are not able to make regular, timely payments on their credit card or medical bills. Nowadays, Prieto lives a much easier life in terms of cash flow. The mother of two and her husband also signed a lofty prenuptial agreement before their 2013 nuptials. The agreement ensured that Prieto would have been granted a million dollars per year if she had split with Jordan before the 10-year mark. But that didn't happen. If the pair separates now, after more than 10 years together, the former model will receive $5 million yearly. A lot can go down on the Miami nightlife scene, including stumbling into the arms of an NBA legend. According to multiple reports, Prieto met her future beau at a Miami nightclub in 2008. The two quickly started seeing each other more seriously and moved in together in 2009. After three years together, Jordan popped the question on Christmas Eve in 2011. While Jordan remains private about his relationship with Prieto, one of the former NBA players' teammates sang her praise on the Club Shay Shay podcast. His new wife is is the bomb too, because it, it, her making him do normal things, yeah, is dope. That's good for him. Jordan has been known to be a bit of a recluse throughout his professional sports career, but Prieto seems to be bringing him out of his shell. If the seven-figure sparkler on her left hand wasn't enough of a telltale sign, Yvette Prieto's luxurious wedding with Michael Jordan in 2013 sealed the deal in terms of luxury. The duo tied the knot in Palm Beach in 2013 in a ceremony that boasted a 300-person guest list filled with Hollywood A-listers. According to People magazine, the newlyweds shared their vows at the Episcopalian Church of Bethesda by the Sea, where former President Donald Trump and Melania also said I do. Us Weekly reported that their special day boasted a price tag of around $10 million, which is chump change compared to the $168 million settlement Jordan was ordered to pay his first wife following their divorce. The big day went off without a hitch thanks to celebrity favorite wedding planner Sharon Sachs, who is known for planning two of Kim Kardashian's previous weddings. Big-name attendees, including Tiger Woods and Scottie Pippen, were there to celebrate the nuptials, which was followed up by a lavish reception at the Bears Club in Jupiter. I'm hoping that he could come over and give me an autograph and shake my hand and I could become his friend. The couple were graced by the likes of Usher and Robin Thicke, who both performed during the party. With Michael Jordan's endless cash flow giving her enough security to live as she pleases, Prieto has enjoyed a new career as a stay-at-home mother to her twin daughters.
However, the former model does occasionally dabble in charitable work, and she and her husband have focused particularly on the James R. Jordan Foundation. This nonprofit aims to help give funding to local youth and families in need. The former NBA star began the charity years ago, alongside his mother, after his father was tragically killed. In place of wedding gifts, the couple paid it back in a major way on their wedding day when they asked guests to make a charitable donation to the foundation. Prieto and Jordan also chose to donate their floral arrangements from their nuptials to Jupiter Medical Center, which is situated not far from their Palm Beach home. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Yvette Prieto and Michael Jordan live in a mansion fit for a king and queen. The couple spend the majority of their time in their South Florida property, located on the same grounds where they held their wedding reception. Their Jupiter home is located at the Bears Club, a luxurious upscale community designed for ultra-rich retired professional athletes such as Jordan. The former NBA player bought his home in 2012 for nearly $5 million and later added over $7 million in renovations. The couple's assets also include Jordan's Highland Park Estate in Illinois, the former Chicago Bulls player's stomping grounds. This 56,000-square-foot property has been sitting on the market since 2012 and is currently listed for nearly $15 million. Jordan and Prieto also enjoy their Utah vacation home, which Jordan listed for sale in 2019 and is currently still on the market for $7.5 million. Their real estate portfolio also includes a waterfront North Carolina lake house, which Jordan bought for almost $3 million in 2013. The NBA legend has a habit of buying and selling homes as he also sold his Chicago penthouse in 2014. The 8,000-square-foot condo was originally purchased by Jordan in the 1990s, and his ex-wife Juanita Vinoy sold the listing in 2014 for nearly $7 million. Shortly after Yvette Prieto and Michael Jordan tied the knot, they welcomed two new additions to their family. Prieto became a mother to two twin daughters in 2014, Victoria and Isabel. Prieto is also a stepmother to Jordan's three older children, Jeffrey, Marcus, and Jasmine, who he had with his ex-wife Juanita Vinoy. Keeping with Prieto and Jordan's private lifestyle, their twin daughters rarely make public appearances, and not much is known about the girls. Fans will have to wait and see what Isabel and Victoria's future holds, and whether or not they take part in the family business. If they take after their step-siblings, however, they could enjoy a leg up in the business world. The former NBA star's three older children are heavily involved in their father's famous Nike Air Jordan line and continue to work for the brand today. Now, how much do you get paid just to wear these shoes? A lot. <laughs> Michael Jordan lives at large post-retirement, and Yvette Prieto seems more than happy to jet around the world with him on lavish getaways. The couple have traveled to several countries together since they tied the knot in 2013 and are often photographed enjoying playing tourist in some incredibly beautiful locations. In 2021, the couple took a trip to Croatia, staying on a super yacht with a seven-figure weekly price tag. The couple enjoyed the centuries-old city of Split before returning to their yacht, which boasts 14 state-of-the-art rooms and two VIP suites. The two were spotted strolling the charming ancient European streets as Jordan enjoyed a cigar, with a large team of security flanking not far behind. Prieto and Jordan brought their twin daughters along for their 2022 getaway, taking a trip to Mexico. The family stayed in a lavish beachside villa in Los Cabos, with paparazzi capturing the couple enjoying the sunshine poolside, alongside Isabel and Victoria. More recently, in 2023, the family took another vacation to Italy, where the pair once again enjoyed the luxury of renting a yacht. But they brought the kids along this time, too. In photos obtained by the Daily Mail, the couple was spotted in the southern region of Sicily, enjoying some downtime with their daughters. Despite being married to one of the most famous NBA players of all time, Yvette Prieto keeps a surprisingly low profile. The former businesswoman could flaunt her fortune on social media or dance in TikTok clips, but it seems she has better things to do than keep social media tabs. Aside from paparazzi photos and the very occasional public appearance, you won't see much of Prieto online. Part of the reason why she remains so elusive may have something to do with Jordan's decision to maintain an uber-private life. Few have ever seen much of their life inside that South Florida mansion, and it seems the retired NBA player would prefer it that way. Being that his entire life was on display for millions of fans while he cemented his status as a world-renowned basketball player, nobody can blame the man for wanting to live in his own world. That less public lifestyle seems to mesh perfectly well with Prieto, too, who doesn't seem to mind keeping her private life, well, private.